Chapter 1. You know just because you're almost 40 and still getting a weekly allowance from your parents doesn't mean you can just do nothing. First of all, I'm writing a novel. Jumping forward, chapter 3. Chapter 4. I, I don't understand. What do you mean they won't accept the charges? Hello? Parents cut me off. I have nothing. Conrad. Yes. What are you going to do? Move in with Dylan, of course. Are you wearing perfume? The woman at Bergdorf's told me that it's unisex. And you wanted to smell sexually ambiguous? So, I met a woman a couple of weeks ago. I don't know, I can't get her out of my head. Beatrice, this is my friend, Conrad. We've met. Just briefly. On the subway. Subway? I gave him my, um... Scarf. She gave me her scarf, it was cold. I'm gonna need that back from you. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. I can get it from you to give to her. Don't you try anything. I won't. Don't try anything. I won't. Don't try anything. I won't. This is a bad idea. You and Dylan always get into these prepubescent competitions. You know, I make a conscious effort to stay out of all forms of competition. Well, well. are you sleeping with Beatrice? <laughs> Dylan, 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 easy, easy. I need you to sleep somewhere else tonight. You're kicking me out. I'm moving in. Does she know that you're broke and have no place else to go? Sometimes you're your own worst enemy. I told you this is a bad idea. Shut up, shut up. How am I supposed to care about a group of overprivileged affluent types who go gallivanting around without any sort of a moral compass? The affluent have plenty of problems. I'm a mess.